All right, Shalom Rastafari, Wendem Yadan Rasi Adino Stefari. And we're going to touch on uh, uh, Nephilim, right? Nephilim, the real story or the real truth behind the Nephilim. And we're going to call this the Nephilim and the abortion connection. There's a big connection, and we're surprised that some of the Bible uh, people and scholars. Uh, I don't know if they've seen it and they just haven't touched on it for themselves or if they haven't gone deep enough into their particular respective um, their respective um, studies on this particular matter um, concerning the Nephilim, right? Who are the Nephilim? Now, of course, a lot of this begins with uh, the Bible. So let's uh, bring up the Bible for a moment, all right? So we're going to be at the Blue Leather Bible. We only got a couple of minutes in this um, in this portion right here. We're going to have a couple of minutes in this portion. And this will be good to actually post up at the, at the I think, Ethiopian World Net, if it's still up there. Um, and as a, so we have a 15-minute link and everything. So let us, uh, first of all, um, look up untimely. Well, first let's let, let's bring this picture. Let's bring this picture. All right. So this is this is I. All right. Now um, let us move out of the way. Right. Let us move out of the way and let me show you what we're dealing with here. Right. This is this is what we're dealing with here when we speak about when we speak about the um, Nephilim, Right. Or the the Cherak or the Chingaf, right? Now, this particular movie, this particular movie is this movie right here. Let's see if we can bring bring this over so you can see it. Pan's, um, Pan's Labyrinth, you know, Pan's Labyrinth right here. Um, these are some of the pictures from Pan's Labyrinth right here, all right, from the movie and See this right here, this guy right here, um, one of the guys, that guy right there, this is some of the clips from the movie. Um, when you look at the, who is that, the, the Asmodeus head, um, you, you can see this pretty clear right there. I don't know, like, if, is, it, is it really clear? Okay, well, we can't really zoom in too much. Right there, but this is to give you a visual what's in the mo what's in the movie. If you haven't really seen it, um, hope, just be strong in faith when you watch it, because a lot of crazy stuff there. And I wouldn't advise those who are cause a lot of folks, you know, like people who who get um, spooked out by horror movies. They should strengthen their faith a little bit. So we're not going to say go go watch this and everything, you know, unless. You know, unless you're confident, strong in the in, in, in the faith of Yeshua HaMoshiach. Now, this is also this is this is that um um what 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 they, what they call that guy that uh the the, the goat that that goat image mm -hmm. Baphomet yeah Baphomet man I, I don't really go around remembering these 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 demons names but sometimes it's good to you know know what's what who's who now. People say this is a product of imagination. No, it goes deeper than that. You see right here? It goes a little deeper than that. You know, so they're giving they're giving um life to the image of the beast. And this is about some little girl right here. And of course it's about child abuse, but they won't tell you that on the surface. On the surface of it. So, you know, and also about, you know, DNA and genetics and eugenics. And all of that is connected with it. But let's get into let's get into the word right here, and you can see there's a whole bunch of these kind of images right here. If you just want to check it out, artist renditions right here. Now, why does this demon demon doesn't have any eyes? You know, eyes defy the face, right? But here he has a face but no eyes, right? I mean, what's up with that? He has to see through his hands. Think about it for a moment. You know, when talk about the mark of the beast, right, in their forehead and on their and, and on their hand. But this one he sees through his eye he sees through his the eyes on his hand. Now that's a that's a little bit detailed kind of um 
information they want us to show you this right here so you'll see what we're talking about um pan's labyrinth right i've seen this movie a couple of years ago really probably one of the better kind of movies must be better ones it's like they're getting much better they're understanding their demonic the demonic entities that they're dealing with which probably means that they're dealing with these demonic entities even at a much deeper at a much deeper um at a much at, at, at a much deeper um right at a much deeper sense anyway i want to make that go that make that go a little bit large okay what's the time check okay so we were looking up something. Let's look up untimely birth, right? Let's look up untimely birth, right? Um, how do we make this go larger? Okay, okay, that's, yeah, here we go. Okay, so we can go, so you can see this about as large as about as large as possible right here, right? Okay, so we're gonna look up untimely, right? Untimely. Right, let's look up untimely. Right? Let's look up untimely and see what see what that brings up. Untimely. Give it a little a little moment right there. Mm hmm Now if you look up Nephilim, it will say fallen, right? And the would 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 will tell you fallen. So here we have four verses. There's four matches. I hope you can see this clear. There's there's four matches, right? There's four matches for untimely. The first one is in Job 3 and 16. It says, Or as a hidden untimely birth, I had not been. As infants, you see this? Infants, little babies, all these aborted fetuses, right? Babies, right? Infants which never saw light, which never saw light, right? They were killed in the womb. Well, they died in the womb, stillborn, but today the abortion thing, right? Um, Psalm 58 and 8 says what? As a snail which melteth, let every one of them pass away, like the untimely birth, or like the aborted fetus, right? Untimely birth of a woman that they may not see the sun. So we have here seeing the light, here we have seeing the sun, right? And a baby in the womb has not got to see the sun as of yet, right? The S-U-N, the high or the solar. Right? Um, Ecclesiastes 6 and 3 says, If a man beget a hundred children and live many years so that the days of his years be many and his soul be not filled with good and also that he have no burial, I say that an untimely birth is better than he. Now that's, a, that's the Ecclesiastes right there in the Bible. Um, and that's interesting, you know, that's, so, so that's the next link of untimely. The final one is in Revelation, Revelation 6 and 13, mm. 6 and 13. It says, and the stars of heaven did what? They fell. The stars of heaven, you see this right here, the stars of heaven fell. It says, unto but to the earth, even as a fig tree Right, what's that? Crazy stuff. Even as a even as a fig tree, see they they they're trying to they're trying to throw their their okay. Even as a fig tree casteth her untimely figs when she is shaken of a mighty wind. Now that gives us a prophetic. In other words, a prophetic. There's a rhema in there. But now let's go to the logos, the constant word all that let's say the old testament. Like the Old Testament is is the New Testament um, 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 concealed, and the New Testament is the Old Testament uh, 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 revealed. So here we go right here. Let's look up the first one, Job, right? Let's go to Job. Job, some people say Job is the oldest book in the Bible. Do you see that right there? Are you able to see that right there? What does it say right there? Right? Let's see if we can go 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 one more. One more, um, one more step. Let's go two more steps up. You see that right there? What do you see right there? It says, it says, Nephel. Nephel. Right? It says Nephel. You see it says Nephel? Nephel is like the root of Nephilim. Right? Nephel is the root of Nephilim. 
right? Let's just use this right here. Nephel is the, this is Nephel, or Nephel, 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 right? It's a masculine noun. There is Nephel, right? Nephel, right? So that's the Hebrew or the Babylonian Hebrew of it, right? So let's scroll, let's scroll, um, let's scroll down. What does it say? It says, an untimely birth, right, an untimely birth, abortion, miscarriage. So you see the link between Nephel, right, Nephel as in Nephilim and abortion. It's right there, an untimely birth, right. Now they say that they're trying to abort babies, you know, even in late term. Even some people like um, Bill Moore and other eugenicists and, and, and sick, demonic, sick demoniacs, right, you know, who are acting the physical role of the hyperdimensional demonic entities, want to just reduce p population and just kill people, right, just, just kill people. You, you know what I mean? And people laugh and they think it's a joke. You're laughing with the scorners. You've got to stop that. You've got to recognize how evil that is. So untimely birth... Three times. Look what it says right here. Look what it says right here. It says, Nephel, a premature birth which falls, right, which falls from the womb. Which falls, it says, from the womb. Or it can be pulled out to fall out. Think about it. How many of the abortion, when they aborted, it, it, it fell out. Or when they pulled it out, it, it splattered, it fell. And it's horrible. If you, you can look it up. I think they have some videos out there. But you've got to have a strong summer. Otherwise, just take the word for it. But here we have the word in clear and clear unambiblical unambiblical uh, un uh, biblical, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Um, clear detail. An abortion. An abortion. Job 3, 16. Right? Job 3, 16. Psalm 58 and 9 and Ecclesiastes 6 and 3. It says, compare the root as use of a birth. Right, Kyle number one, or the Kyle number one, and the the hit, uh, the, the hipster, and in the Talmud, Nephil is or Nephil is used of a premature birth, right? And even in the Arabic, right? Even in the Arabic and abortion, you see that right there. So it has very clearly is the word abortion. So this is like just a foundation because we're coming to the to the particular time. Right, uh, particular time that we have on this particular clip right here. Let us bring this up right here. So, you see, when we're speaking about this, you know, these creatures, this is this is like a nephel. And just imagine an aborted. You, you know what I'm saying? Because when they pull out the eyes, or it's all damaged, it's all it's ill formed. This is your nephilim, not your nephilim. You know, you could say, well, this is the nephilim. Right, so what was, remember what it says in, um, I don't know if we have enough time in this one, but we'll go into kind of overdrive and go into more detail on this right here. This is just is tell the ones on Ethiopian World Net, check out Rastafari Sabbatical for the more fuller versions, because they're trying to false flag us off of this particular channel, if this is the Ethiopian World Net, or, and also sign up to 911. But the fuller version, Rastafari Sabbatical, check the description in case this time's out right, right here. Right? So, if you look in the scriptures, right, if you look in the scriptures, let's, let's uh, bring, let's bring uh, this one back to um, front and center, right? It says, and there were giants in the earth in those days. You remember that? There were giants in the earth in those days. We can see there were abortions, right? Really, there were aborted fetuses, but these, some of them survived. Right, and, and similar to that picture that we just um, showed you right there. Similar to that picture that we just showed you right there. Let's back this up um, one page. So if you want to find abortion in the Bible, you have to look up um, untimely, right? You have to look up um, untimely and then get to the, you know, get to the root, you know, get to the root of it in the Hebrew, right? Now the same, the same root, let's see, let's see if we can click on this right here. This same, okay, we're not able to click on this. Okay, it's, it's, it's timing out for a moment. But what we're going is to Genesis chapter 6, where you'll see, and there were giants in the earth. It says, and there were giants in the earth. We want to just have a wraparound with what this, here we go, right here. Okay, there were giants.